14 years of civil war have left the West African country of Liberia and its people divided and traumatized. One of the most intractable post-war issues is what to do with the 100,000 former militiamen, many of whom started fighting as boys and grew up thinking that the unspeakable was acceptable. The casualties included huge numbers of amputees who found themselves outside society, resorting to crime or to begging on the streets. People such as Dennis Parker, who until recently lacked any sort of role in Liberian society. During the, the war, During the war my parents, they were wonderful people. They ill-treated my parents, and God made me join the revolution, and I became part of the problem. Even after losing his right leg below the knee, Dennis continued to fight until UN peacekeepers finally took control of the country. He found himself on the streets with his girlfriend and two of their children. Deeply impoverished, Liberia offers no welfare for the disabled, who find the few jobs that do exist are beyond their grasp. Dennis Parker, he was like very discouraged. He nearly committed suicide. He was like, where do I go? How do I live? Uh, he began as a teenager, participated in the war. He fought the war. And during the time of the war, he became amputated. And uh, he became so discouraged with life because uh, nobody would cater to him. He had to go out and fight for he and his family. And uh, it became a horrible story. At a time when there was no soccer, you'd stop a taxi. An able-bodied man standing here and I was standing there. And he would go and pick up the able-bodied man and he would leave me behind. Why? Because they would have that thing in their head that we are the ones who destroyed the country. We are the ones who killed the other persons, killed their parents. In September of last year, Dennis Parker and Robert Carlo founded LASA, the Liberia Amputee Sports Association. For Dennis and his fellow amputees, his life has been transformed. They now play international football for their country. And in November, Liberia will be heading for Turkey for the Amputee World Championship. Since we introduced amputee football, since that time he has moved to his own place with his family. He comes to practice every day and uh, he's looking forward to a more meaningful life. For every, condition, for every condition, God, God put it there. God no and God knows the reasons it. why he put it there. For the past, for the past time, times, we've been, we've been suffering. We've been suffering. But with but soccer, soccer, I've done well. I've done well. The community does not reject them like before, because uh, when they ever they play the game, the community go and see them, and they like the game. And people do not look at them anymore in a condescending way. People now accept them because they have something to contribute in the community as uh, amputee footballers. And so they begin to appreciate them. That appreciation really can be translated into getting jobs for them, into their sense of belonging to the community. They don't feel any more less important. Before, there, were Before, no respect there was no respect for us. But soccer has made us well known. Walking, walking on the streets now, people embrace us and tell us thank you. Thank you. Ampiti football has brought hope, and football, yes, can bring hope. The Labrin situation is a concrete example, like in the case of Dennis Parker and many others amputees, they now have hope. If I play, my opponent, if I play against if my I opponent, him, if I hit him, eh? I'll go and tell I him sorry. Play. Yeah, and I'll pick him up, pick him up. because football because is all about friendship. Football is all about friendship. If you love your opponent, love your, your opponent will love you. Love you. Even if I play, I feel fine, fine because, because thousands of people are looking, looking at me. At me. Football has made me go to some places I've never been. I've never been.